So welcome back watch addicts, bike addicts and new gaming addicts if you're out there. This has come today. Very happy and as you can see it's actually come from the Netherlands. Did take a few days to get here but it's arrived uh, today. Very happy about that and I'll be even happier when I get it open. So as you know by the title, you know what it is, so let's get down to the unboxing. Let's get in here, oh, a new knife, it's a new knife, and I'm actually wearing my Golfman, for all you watch addicts. I'm going to be showing you something a bit later, and hopefully I'll be using what's in here to do the recording. So, let's get this open and let's see how good this thing is. And yeah, it is completely sealed and I've been waiting all day to open it up, as you can see. So, let's see what we've got. Go around for that. We know it's a GoPro, and we know, I'm glad there's something in this, <laughs> it hit me off, it'd be really bad if there wasn't, oh my god, what the heck, so, we got the new GoPro Hero 13, so, well, I'm keen on this packaging, it's a bit cheap in it, Anyway, it's not about that. Oh, that's just the uh, outer sleeve, just to say it's not been opened. I'll tell you what, we won't be selling it. So, make sure we can get in it. There we go. Oh, so that's a bit better of a box. So we've got the GoPro Hero 13 Black. So I wasn't too sure about getting this to be honest. And then I seen a couple of video footage that actually tempted me. Oh, forgot about the, uh, the new mouse mat. Check that thing out. Umbrella Corporation. I think we're going to have one of these soon. Oh, we've already got it. It's just. Uh, be exposed so anyway we've got the new hero black 13 so i know people love doing this they love the unboxings i love the unboxings as well so. okay so this does Packaging feels rather cheap compared to uh, the other ones. Is this how are we getting in here now? We've got to break it open a lot. Ah, there we go. That's the one. Your com your camera must be updated before you can use it. Now, if I recall, my other camera had to be updated before I used it. Why can't they do it in the factory? Now, come on, GoPro, you're better than this. Oh, some new stickers for my helmet. Put them to one side. Uh, tips and tricks and cold weather performance. So, here we are. Here we have it. So you've got your charger lead, two type C ends, you've got oh, the battery, I wonder how much bigger 
Well, that's supposed to be a lot bigger battery. What size battery is this supposed to be? So. Hmm. It's not telling me. It says Enduro battery. Not sure how long it's going to last. I hope it's going to last me longer than the tens, but to be honest, that doesn't look much bigger. Probably the same size as the Hero 10. So, let's come up. We got the little stand, and we've got. Your mounts, so you mount it on your helmet, your car, your motorbike, your forks, whatever you want to mount it to. So that's basically all you get in the box. Probably not the best mat to uh, show this to. And then we come to the camera. Come on, out you come. So I'm going to do a comparison. That's it, that's all you get off. This looks rather big, this. This, get, this is getting more like a compact camera size. So, a little unwrapping. I love doing this bit. This is my favourite bit. Oh, look at that, lovely. Uh, Put that there like so, and then let's do this one. That's quite a big screen, that for a, a front facing. And there we go again. Your camera must be updated before you can use it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to. What's that on it? Oh, it's a sensor or a light. What I'm going to do is charge this thing up, stick a card in it. Obviously, it's going to have to be a uh, super bump. And I don't just use the uh, extremes, the uh, golden ones. I do like to use the black and red, the extreme pros. Faster uh, writing and stuff, and I should actually go to drawers. Oh. Just so happens I have got a hundred and twenty-eight gig one just here, so I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna pop that in, and then we'll see. What it's like. I'll have to do all the updates and everything else, but so before I do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare it. Let's just put these back in here. Don't like this box whatsoever. I think that's rather cheap. Could have done something a bit better than that. Probably thinking about the environment, but that's plastic and cardboard. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a comparison while it's out. So this wasn't the first camera I got but I actually did buy this off my mate. Got it at a really good price. So that was the Hero 3. I did have the Hero 5 um, which, what was it called? A little square box one. I had that, but it kept on overheating. And when I was out, uh, I was at Degla Bike Park. I lost all my video footage because of it. It overheated so badly, I had to throw it in the stream 
to cool it down. And then I had to wait uh, for the um, battery to uh, die out because with them you couldn't take the battery out. At least with this one you can. So this is the Hero 3. So size wise. Look at the difference in size. Actually let me just put this camera down a little bit. And then we can see properly. So size wise look at that. I have got a proper screen for the back on this. Look at the size of that. So my first proper GoPro as I call it was this one, the Hero 5. Look at the size difference now. I really did like that camera. You know it was um I say my first proper GoPro. And yes, it still works and everything else. My idea, you know, the ultra on the bottom. Yes, I've got some memory card in as well because I still do use this camera yeah, for other things as well. Charges there, but yeah, it was a uh, when it came out in its day, it was really good. And then my next one, actually, I'll leave that there. Was, I didn't go for the 6, I never uh, thought about getting the 6 to be honest because it wasn't much difference to the 5. So what I did buy is the 7, now let's compare that. So that's even still smaller. So size wise. Is this as thick as it? Yeah. Basically, well, a little bit bigger. Screen size bigger. But that's actually the uh, Hero 7. I really did like this camera. I still do use it as well. Um, I wasn't happy with the firmware update, what they've done, because it actually uh, messed up the uh, hyper smooth on it. So my video footage wasn't as good. I don't know why they keep on doing this. Well, I do know why they keep on doing this. So you go out and buy the next one. And I did go out and buy the next one because right there, like size difference in them. The seven's a little bit bigger. So I went out and bought the eight. Now, I do use this quite a bit. I do use this um, to do walk arounds and that. And the only problem is with this, it does overheat, which I'm not very happy about. And yes, I did a. Have I put a screen protector on that? No, I've not. I did have one on the front, but it cracked. I've got one on the front of that, and they've even got a crack in that already. You see, so, but yeah, uh, this is really good when it does doesn't overheat. I should say, you know, when it does work, it's actually pretty decent. But like I say, the only problem is with it; it does overheat. You know, if you're not on the bike, it does get rather warm. Or you're not on the motorbike or on in the car or something like that and it's not got constant airflow on it to cool it down it does overheat never had the problem with that never had the problem with that so i don't know why i had the problem with that so that's the eight and then i didn't bother with the nine i thought the nine was a little bit um, too much like the eight Yes, they did change the uh, colour on the, on the front, and I'm not really bothered about the front colour. Let's, see, well, let's just take this off here and then do a size comparison with them. 
this one is a little bit uh, smaller than all the others and you know I don't have any problems with this overheating no, so that's one good thing see so if we can get this out without breaking the bloody thing come on how are you come there we go so look at the size difference on them tiny so and then like I say I didn't go for the nine I went for the ten now size difference I wouldn't say there's any, actually anything in it. Both look exactly the same size. Same width. Oh, I just remembered. Magnetic. That's the new thing about this. It's magnetic. So you get a magnetic base, and these do pop out like so so they can fit into your GoPro mounts same as this one and same as this one good idea because you know you've not got the big cages to be messing about with well that's the uh, that's the five case that's the seven case Eight didn't come with one because it didn't need it because it's got the little legs at the bottom which fold away. Same with the ten. Nine was the same as well. Like I say, I didn't want to bother with the nine. So, what's different about this? Well, according to the like the uh, trailers I've been watching, they've got. Some good things about this. So while your GoPro is charging, your shots auto upload to the cloud. Yes, but I don't want them uploading straight to the cloud. I want to put them onto my computer, on my tablet, and do my editing. So this is on the side of the box so this one actually goes down to 10 meters 33 feet that's really good it's got GPS well I'm sure the other ones all had GTS 10 bit color night effects and then you've got time-lapse time warp 3.0 uh, hyper view 177% uh, ultra wide and then you've got 27 megapixel photo. You've got Super Photo HDR raw files or raw photos. Actually, it does re yeah, record in raw files. Um, HLG HDR video. And then you've got uh, lens mods so you can actually take uh, the lens off, put a different lens on it. I'd be a little bit worried about taking the lens off and you know putting another one on and like what happens with the water resistance is it can water get in or what well we'll find out anyway and then you've got 5.3k 60 frames a second 4k 120 frames a second 2.7k 240 that's pretty decent that actually and then you got 13 times burst slow motion at 720p 400 frames that me a second eight times slow motion and that's what actually drawn me to this when I seen the video uh, the promotional video you actually see raindrops falling onto the uh, camera lens um, looked actually they actually done a really good job of the promo to be honest I'll give them the due you know so that's what uh, stuck it for me 
so that lens is supposed to come off. I'm not going to take it off because I want to set it all up first, make sure everything's okay. So, oh, yeah, you still get that beep. So, English. Oh, look at that. It actually worked. First press. Uh, terms and conditions. You've got to agree because it won't let, it won't let you uh, enable GPS. Uh, no, we don't want that. Uh, I haven't got an SD card in. So, we've only got 29% battery. Oh. So we've got 29% in the battery, so what I'll do, I'll give it a good charge up. And then, let's see. It's not going to let me go any further. Until... I'll just put English US, but I'm not English US. So, if I press that, will it go to home? No, it's not going to go to home. So, what we'll have to do, I'll tell you what, let's just take this one out of here. This was all set up, my Hero 10, was set up for my ride for Sunday, except for it was raining again. Thanks, pal. You know what I'm talking about, making it bloody rain. So. Oh, scan this. My phone. I don't think it scans. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this a charge up, set it all up, and then what I'm going to do is do a little bit of recording of the bike because I put the I put the new tyres on. I've got the Shulby, uh G1 bike on it because that was, was actually supposed to be using uh, last weekend. What I'll do, I'll. And I've also put something else on the bike, which I'll show you. So anyway, I'll be back in a click. So guys, thankfully I've sorted out all my settings and everything. I did have to go uh, onto DC Rainmaker's channel. And he basically shows how to change all your settings what you've got to basically do is you go into advanced pro um, and then you can change from 1080 2.7 4k 5.3k so and then you can change from widescreen linear super wide hyper wide whatever and you can turn your hyper on and off so i don't know that's going up and down or whatever I was just shaking the camera then so let's hope that hyper smooth is uh, gonna work all right so anyway the bike's all ready for tomorrow all I've got to do throw it in the back of the car oh and I need to put my new seat clamp on because I've got my new seat clamp so I'll put that on uh, it's getting a little bit late again uh, like I say I didn't get home till late last night uh, Went to see the uh, parents and uh, had fam uh, other parts of my family over. So it was a good night anyway. But anyway, I got the tyres on ready for tomorrow's ride. Hopefully it's not going to rain. Hopefully a certain person hasn't been sending his planes out. But these are ready. Is a Schwalbe. G1 bite and so I've got a little bit wider on the front 
a little bit wider on the front compared to the rear. Always like a, a bit wider on the front, especially with like these type of uh, tyres. So I'll put, I will put what I've got on here now. Yes, I have put it on. Got the XT uh, brake lever on, and also I've got the XT caliper. And if you check out, I put new discs on. Uh, hopefully. This will uh, help me stop better, but yeah, bled all through. Uh, I had to go from this end through the frame down the bottom out. But lucky that didn't have a banjo on the end of it, so because that is that would have been a pain in the backside to do, even though I've got the kit to uh, sort it out. And I did get. Um, new kit this is basically let me show you without it all dropping all over the floor so that's the kit itself you got all insert the uh, tool and everything so and I also have for feeding through frames if you don't know about these this is the feed through your frame. I'm just put it in to see. Basically, it's a little cable which you attach to your uh, hose or your other types of cables, and then you pull it through. But to be honest, I didn't really need this uh, to get that one through. It was, like I say, it was a bit of a pain to do because for some random reason they haven't put like a sh uh, like a ramp when I was pushing through it was actually going into this part here so I had to get a little screwdriver and then leave it you know leave it out but, you know, sometimes they don't make things easy but anyway bike's ready for tomorrow hopefully it's not raining so I'll get this video out tonight and Hopefully I'll have another video up tomorrow testing these tyres out and testing this camera out to see how good it actually is. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Keep watching, hit that subscribe button and I will see you all soon.